In Philippine mythology, a Dewata, derived from Sanskrit Devata Devata, Encantada in Spanish, is a type of deity or spirit. The term, Dewata, has taken on levels of meaning since its assimilation into the mythology of the pre-colonial Filipinos. The term is traditionally used in the Visayas, Palawan, and Mindanao regions, while the term Anito is used in Luzon regions. Both terms are used in Bicol, Marinduque, Rumblon, and Mindoro, signifying a buffer zone area for the two terms. When the Spanish conquered the Philippines the commonly used meaning of the term reduced from goddess to dryad-like spirit which was considered benevolent or neutral. These spirits were invoked ritually for positive crop growth, health, and fortune, however, they were also considered to be able to incur illness or misfortune if not given proper respect, they were said to reside in large trees, such as acacia and valet and were understood as the guardian spirits of nature, casting blessings or curses upon those who brought benefits or harm to the forests and mountains. In modern times, the term, Dewata, is sometimes loosely used to refer to a generic type of beings, much like elf, or fairy, or very specific types. The term Dewata is synonymous to Anito, and the usage of the word Dewata is more prevalent in the southern Philippines, while Anito takes its place in the northern areas. Characteristics Although there are numerous and varied accounts as to what they should look like, a general trend may be observed in that they are normally human in appearance. Beautiful and seemingly ageless at that save for some distinct characteristics. This may take the form of not having a philtrum or having continuously smooth and supple skin that somehow resemble fingernails, without any wrinkled parts as in the elbows and knees. They tend to be fairer than average, as pale skin has been associated with the supernatural even during pre-colonial times, for example, the white lady belief is prevalent in the East and Southeast Asian regions. Visayan epics such as Hinilawad describe them as very beautiful, some having golden skin, other having luminous fair skin. Etymology the word Dewata has been used since during the pre-Hispanic times, when Hinduism and Buddhism had been practiced in the lowland areas on the archipelago. The term Dewata was derived from Sanskrit word Devata Devanagari, Devata in Khmer it was called Tivoda, in the Javanese, Balinese, Sundanese, Malay and Indonesian, Dewata, Batak languages, Debata, Toba, Dibata Karo, Naibata, Simalangan, is a smaller, more focused Deva. The term Devata can also mean diva, place, devatas, meaning the gods. There are male and female devatas. There are many kinds of devatas, vanadavadas, forest spirits, perhaps descendants of early nature spirit cults, village gods, devatas of river crossings, caves, mountains, and so on. In Hinduism, the devatas that guard the eight, nine and ten cardinal points are called lokapala, guardians of the directions, or, more specifically in ancient Java tradition, dewata nawa sangha, guardians of nine directions. Every human activity has its devata, its spiritual counterpart or aspect. Concepts the inhabitants of pre-colonial Philippines believed and worshipped Dewatas and believed them to be deities created by the one true God to help administer his creation. The term, Dewata, applies to both male and female deities, e.g., Dewata Baranga, who is the male god of rainbows. The Dewata were worshipped and venerated in pre-colonial Philippines are depicted as superior in beauty, in knowledge, and in fighting skills. They are prayed to and given offerings to grant requests and to answer prayers. In modern concept, due to the Spanish destruction of most of the pre-colonial Philippine culture, the rank and image of a Dewata from goddess was turned into enchantress or nymph, being beautiful with preternatural allure that lives in the forest and trees. Encanto A male Dewata is coined as Encanto, thought they seem to be of a totally different race. They are believed to be malevolent with very pale skin to white skin that sparkles under direct sunlight, light-colored hair, and fangs. It resides primarily near the sea or any body of water. It is customary for Filipino fishermen to offer meat and other delicacies to the Encanto by throwing them into the sea, after a day's bountiful catch. 
Popular mythology states that Dewata live inside tree trunks, in the form of spirits. In the Philippines, it is common to see trees with trunks larger than 5 or 6 inches in diameter left standing when trees have been cut. This is believed to prevent the spirit from being released, as it is not known if he is a white or black spirit. If he is a black spirit, it is believed he can cause serious misfortune to the one who stole his home. Encantos have many similarities to humans in that they age, appear to have male and female sexes, can suffer from illness, and die. They are an object mythology for many Filipinos as they are mostly pictured as non-muscular beautiful men having crystal blue eyes, fair complexion and golden hair. They may have unusual features such as high-bridged noses, fair skin, and no philtrum. They are also known to be taller than human beings. Some say they have leaf-shaped ears and that they sparkle under direct sunlight or grow sharp teeth when threatened. Other variants exhibit sexual dimorphism such as Bogobo spirits which are separated into the female Tahamaling and the male Mahomene. The female spirit is alleged to have red complexion while the male has a fair complexion. Their dwellings will normally appear as natural features, for example large rocks or trees, although to humans they have befriended they can appear as magnificent palaces. These creatures prefer large trees such as the ballet in which they place their belongings. Term usage The term, Dewata, itself is extremely diverse in usage as noted by the research of Ferdinand Blumentritt and other notable scholars. According to their research, Dewata refers to different entities depending on the ethnic people. The research collected different meanings of Dewata. Cebuano people Deity. Batak people. Spirits, good and evil. Tagbanwa people. Invisible spirits. Mandaya people. One spirit. Manobo people. Spirit. Subanan people. A name of one of the Subnan gods. Tiruray people. Great eight-headed fish. Maguindanon people. Images of a deity, not the deity itself. Magahat people. Thanksgiving feast with the offerings that are offered to Dewa, a forest god, and spirits who own the land. Bukidnon people. Men of heaven. Blonde people. God of goodness more known as Dwada. Kayanan people. Name of the most powerful of the Kayanan deities. In addition to the research, scholars noted that the term Dewata is used in the southern islands of the Philippines, while Anito is used in the northern islands, although other terms are known as well depending on the ethnicity of the people in an area. Popular culture Television in the television sitcom OK Ka, Fairy Co. created by MZET Productions, Dewadas live in a mythical world named Encantasia where Ina Magenta is the queen of the Dewadas. Ina Magenta's daughter, Faye, is married to Enteng Kabisot, a human. Dewada have been featured on GMA Network fantasy series Encantadia and Malawan, whereby Dewadas are a race of supernatural being living in Encantadia, a dimension beyond the human world. However, the depiction of a Dewata on both series have European influences as pure Dewatas were shown to have pointed ears like elves, one of them is Cassiopeia and some resemble fairies, like Mayak, human-like Dewatas are born from a Dewata and another Encantado. All Dewatas and Encantados reside in the Kingdom of Lieo. Single quote dot. A Dewata or an Encantado that has royal blood is called Sang. GRE, which can be distinguished by their markings on their back, the Na character from the Baybayan script. The queen of the Dewata in Lieo carries the title of Ening Reina. Lyrian society is matriarchal and only a Sangre in the matriarch line may ascend the throne. Another television series from GMA Network, Amaya, depicts Dewata as goddesses who may be called upon through a ritual. The Dewatas here reoriginate from ancient Visayan folklore. 
The series revolves around the life of Amaya, a Bainukat, kept maiden, and her fate to become the most powerful woman of her time. It is set during the pre-colonial times of the Philippines. The Dewata shown were Maguayan, who ferries the souls of the dead to Salad Purgatory. Pandaki, who can change a fate of a Dungan, soul. She brings good Dungan from Salad to Saad, heaven, to be in Umalagad. Malandic, god of war. Bakunawa, a dragon, guardian of Salad, in another GMA Network TV series, Indio, Dewata are gods or goddesses that can be called or preyed upon. Indio is about a man with a Dewata mother and a human father. During the Spanish colonial period, he protects the Filipinos from the Spaniards. Similar to Amaya, these Dewatas originate from ancient Visayan folklore. Some of them are Makapton, the supreme god Inagiginit, war and earth goddess, successor of Malandic Magayan, goddess of flying animals, also a wood goddess Lilan, goddess of fire and volcanoes Lidagat, water goddess Libulan, moon goddess Lihangan, wind goddess Dalakmata, goddess of eye diseases and visions, also an ice goddess Adla, sun god Baranga, rainbow god Ribbing Linti, thunderstorm god Blasantonillo, god of blessings Barigadang Pada Siniklang Bulawan, goddess of greed and riches Pibarong, god of the middle world. He is the brother of Barigadang Pada. Makabasig, god of gluttony Sidapa, god of death Pandaki, goddess who saves souls for a better fate Magwayan, sea goddess who ferries the souls to the land of the dead. Aluncina, goddess of eastern skies. The term Lambana is an old Tagalog word for a drawing symbol or picture that represents a deity of the ancient pagan religion of the Tagalog people was recently used in fantasy-themed television shows such as AB CBN's Pedro Penduco as a term for small fairies. It can be argued that the term was first used in Encantadia as a reference to Mayak and later on in Luna Mystica where it was used to identify the characters played by Pauline Luna and Michelle Madrigal. Music Dewata is a Filipino singer-comedian who made a mark with the Tagalog remake of the English song, Sincerely, and became well known with Ciceron Mo. A naughty song with double meaning that titillated the masses imagination from her self-titled album Dewata. This album launched a whole new genre of songs that shocked the sensibilities of the predominantly Catholic Philippines in 2001. In 2014, rapper Abra released a song titled, Dewata, which features Parakia ni Edgar vocalist Chito Miranda, from his self-titled debut album. There is a Filipino rock band named Dewata, that consists of five individuals namely, Lem Andrade on vocals, Rai Peralta on lead guitar, Paul Medina on drums, Ryan Mascardo on rhythm guitar and JC Olipia on bass. They started the band late 2008 and still rocking the stage of Manila and near provinces until today. Literature One of the characters in the play speech and debate by Stephen Karam is named Dewata and claims to have some Filipino ancestry. Comics In the comics, the character created by Jenner Padrina for the Santagon universe, Dewata is a half-human and half-encantada whose real name is Maria Clarissa Valiente. Cinema in 1987, the movie entitled Dewata, directed by Tata Esteban and written by Ray Nicandro showed the mythical life of the deities. Actress Olga Miranda played the main role, together with the other cast Lala Montalibano, Dick Israel and George Estragon. The independent film Far Away focuses on a woman and her quest to find the Dewata tribe. Games in 2017, a Filipino tabletop role-playing game that beautifully encapsulates local myths called Project Tadana was released. 
It features Dewada as one of its playable races, or Lahi, together with Encanto, Tikbaling, Aswang, and Dao. See also Devada, deities, divine beings or lesser gods in Hinduism and Buddhism concept Hyang, similar concept in ancient Indonesia Kami, similar concept in Japanese Shinto faith Datuk Karamat Natuk Kong References <laughs>